Hello, it's me and Perry, so we're going to go slowly, and this will probably be short because he can't really walk that far. Um, I know I keep coming and going on this channel, um, but I especially think that I should kind of document for other people um, how my avoidant personality disorder is sort of, can't see, um, manifesting in my life, let's call it that. Um, so, and like, um, I have had my actual feelings about things uh, start punching through the avoidance, um, specifically with work. And the reason is because I've worked, if I've counted right, I think it's, it's either 25 of the last 27 days or 26 of the last 28. Um, I came back from my last trip, worked a week, uh, had two days off, and then I've worked for three more weeks straight. And I don't mean like, oh, a few hours. I mean like minimum of seven on average nine hours a day. A lot. Now, because of that, <laughs> um, some sort of, oh, there's a cat over there. Uh, financial problems I would have had are not problems at all because guess what I got the money because guess what I'm working all the time um, however I mean that just kills you I know that traditionally people used to work all the time every day for like 14 hours a day I don't know how they did it <laughs> Um, I mean, I've got other things going on also. Perry's right with me. He's not decided to go after that cat. That's good. Um, you know, my son has been doing actually very well, but he does have sort of three big giant stressors on him right now. Um, you know, being an adult type stressors. And he's making progress in all three. And it's very impressive. And I'm like, go kid. It's great to watch. Um, but he has like been like, uh, Mom, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not there yet. Can you like sort of finance this part of my life? Um, it's like, okay. Because I know he really, truly is starting to get his feet under him. Um, And I do pay for travel. I've got two trips paid for, for the end of the year already. Like, forget about planning them. They're paid for. <laughs> so it's like, I just have to wait for the calendar to tick by and then go. Um, definitely looking at doing something earlier. Um, I don't know. I mean, the problem, this is a problem. Okay, that's all the background. I don't know if you'd consider this a problem. I think there's probably people that see these videos and know me a little bit who are like on the edge of their seats ready to cheer for what I'm about to say. Which is basically that I've taken all I can take and I can't take anymore. Um, again, the avoidance makes you stay silent. It makes you accept mistreatment by people and being like ground under people's boot heels constantly. And it's just a fact. Um, and then at some point, the stress of that basically gets to the point where it, it overtops the avoidance where it's like okay guess what um 
Yeah, it would really suck if I wasn't working at all. But it wouldn't take long for me to get another job. And um, I'm really being treated poorly. Um, what is the cherry on the cake is that me being a responsible employee is being tipped back onto me. Me following all the rules and doing everything the way I'm supposed to. Um, people keep saying, well, nobody else follows the rules. If you follow the rules and you kind of get screwed compared to everybody else, well, that's on you because how dare you follow the rules? And I'm just like, excuse me? <sighs> what has he found? I don't know. Since it's just Perry, I think we should go back. What do you think, Perry? Let's go back. I don't want you to get completely tuckered out. If it, if Poppy was with us, I'd have us walk farther. Can't even tell he's missing a leg. Anyway, <laughs> that's where his foot would have been. <laughs> um, so what's happening is I'm sort of getting snappy with people. That's how I describe it. I'm sure they're like <laughs> much more aggressive and floral in their description of me. Like, um, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be this wallflower that never says anything. Um, I don't know. For example, um, my boss puts out a schedule. You're, I'm going to say this and you're going to be like, you're fucking lame. It is your own fault. We don't have staff. <laughs> Just like everywhere else, there's massive gaps. And, um, of the people that are left, you know, we are supposed to cover certain hours, which is basically all the time. And, um... That's what our clientele expects. But there's people that are like, okay, this is the only time I can work. And I am definitely more flexible. And which is why I work basically until the middle of the night. Because I don't really care. You know, do I need to get up to put my kids on the school bus? No, I don't. Uh, I'm super flexible with my time. Um, and it's gotten to the point where the time when I normally work, I'm the only person left that will work those hours at all. Well, I was told today that the reason I'm being scheduled on the days when there's overlap with people is because those days are more important and busier. And that the days that I'm coming in when I'm not scheduled... Which, yes, I know it's weird to use that terminology, but whatever. That's just how I think of it. Um, the days I'm working when I'm not scheduled, because this is what's happening. I'm being scheduled, like, 32 hours and working, like, 56. <laughs> um, I'm basically going, okay, there's nobody there, nobody there to work. There's nobody working at all. Um, like, for instance, today. Um... I worked. I technically wasn't scheduled. Okay, I wasn't scheduled. Not even technically. I was not scheduled. Um, they're not even trying to find anybody to cover. At this point, they assume I'm just going to work. Every day. Today, what was it? Um, it was... I did about 40% of the sales of the entire you know, department, nearly, it was something like 38.5, the entire department, today, it was me, me alone, if I didn't show up, we would have had less than two-thirds of the total daily figures, and yet, 
I'm useless. And I'm the one that just shows up on my own and nobody told me to be there and I should stop complaining. And I definitely need to show up on these other days when we've got four times the coverage because those days are, quote, more important. It's annoying as hell. Um, and I absolutely bit back at that to my boss and then just shut up, um, which is possible to do, <laughs> to just not say another word for the rest of the night. Um, and I think some malicious compliance is coming along soon when um these days when they're just like not even looking for somebody to cover because they know i'll just show up if there's an empty spot um i'll just stop doing that and see what happens and see if their sales plummet and uh yeah and then see if maybe they change their mind <laughs> anyway that's the type of thing now here's the problem now again there's probably some people out there that are hearing this going Thank God, that's the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life. Wow, that's how long it takes somebody with avoidant personality disorder to realize that they are truly being taken advantage of. Can you see him? Let me see if I can get his thing. He's just rolling around. See, he's living his best life. You can hear the peepers, too. Anyway, um, yeah, that's how, that's what it takes for someone to avoid personality, with avoidant personality disorder to finally sort of step up. The thing is this, is that somebody else might be grumbly and saying X, Y, and Z, and they're like, okay, well that's, you know, normal. They complain. Somebody with avoidant personality disorder, they don't complain very often. Um, because I did, I was like, oh my goodness, I had this exchange with a customer, which by the way, went, you know, I, I basically was like, these are, these are the times and this is what we've got available. And, um, you know, if you are not interested in our rates and our times, then I can't waste time talking to you. I didn't quite put it like that, but in a nutshell, that's what I said. Guess what? That's what we're supposed to say. And people are like, oh my God, cannot believe it. They're like, I can't believe we haven't gotten a report back. I'm just stunned that you said something to a client that we're supposed to say. And they, you know, basically these are the rules and you need to adhere to them to use our services. Um, they're like, God, I can't believe they didn't come back at you about that because I don't do that. So it's a surprise and a shock when I do what everybody else is supposed to do. And I've actually had a supervisor say that to me, like, I'm, I'm so amazed. I'm so amazed that they haven't complained about you because um, I can't believe that you actually, you know, s said that to the customer that the reason why they were um, not being served was because they didn't follow our rules. And that we tried to fulfill their request. And um, they basically didn't keep up their bargain, their end of the bargain. And therefore, we were not able to complete our services. And that's what I said. <laughs> and how dare I? Because they're just in shock that I actually said that to somebody. I mean, it's my job. I'm supposed to say these are our boundaries. This is what we do. But I never do that. Well, utter exhaustion and stress and feeling completely unappreciated, you get to the point where I actually, you know, just tell the truth instead of stuffing it. I feel very strongly that it's going to come back on me. It shouldn't. It shouldn't because I'm doing what we're supposed supposed to do it's actually in our you know we we have to make sure that our clients follow the rules you know i can't bend the rules for an individual client i mean we've actually got computer systems that don't allow us to 
you know, their like time deadlines and everything else that cut off. And that's it. Okay, you're cut off. You have to start over from scratch. If you, you know, like halfway in the middle and you're wasting our time, the system cuts people off. Okay, (laughs) you know, me explaining that's what happened and that you need to not waste our time. Oh my God, but it's me. I said it. Um, I'm expecting my boss to have an absolute fit because, like, how dare I confront her assumptions, which are wrong, with some actual facts. Yikes. I never do that. I just go with the flow. He's coming. Maybe he's intimidated by the peepers. Anyway, um... Yeah, so that's what happens. At some point, your avoidant personality disorder is not a high enough fence, wall, whatever you want to call it. At some point, you will breach that. And then, what do you do? Do you go, you know, actually tell the truth instead of stuffing it? And disappear? Or do you check to see how people are coping with it? And go from there? Or do you ignore it? I don't think that anybody with avoidant personality disorder, when they have their sort of outbursts, this is literally like reaching the... Uh, oh, here comes a car. Come on, Perry. Um you know, breaching their walls of avoidance, um, I don't think they ignore it. Oh yeah, there's definitely a car coming out in the peeper fest Um, so I don't know what I'll do. I'll either cope with it, but think every day that it's going to be, you know, slapped across my face again, and that I'll get punished for acting like everybody else. Or, I'll run. And I bet that there's lots of people out there like, your job sucks, and I can't believe you do it, and I can't believe what you put up with, and I can't wait for you to quit that job, and woohoo, do it. Um, I don't know. And I bet there's a lot of people out there that's like, dude, if you're going to breach the stupid walls of avoidant personality disorder, why can't you do it to let some people into your life? Why can't you just, like, go out and have a relationship or something? I know there's a lot of people out there that kind of wish I would do that, too. And I appreciate that. I really do. Uh, That's, like, five levels away from where I'm in right now. Right where I am right now is basically just starting to stick up for myself at work and thinking I'm going to get fired for it and thinking I'm going to be hated for it. And thinking that I'm not going to be able to continue to work because of it. So I have to be like way more desperate, literally. And I'm not saying that as a negative thing. I'm saying that literally this is the level you have to be at. You have to get to the point where you're just like, if it changes as hard as that would be for me, the change and going through the change is less difficult than coping with whatever shit I'm going through right now. You know, I mean, yes, I'm super alone. If I didn't have my cats, uh, I'd probably have more people in my life. That's That's not a lie. I'm not a crazy crap person. It's that, you know, I have to do things to take care of them. And actually, Perry just took off into this Let's put the light on and see if I can find him. Maybe. Oh, there he is. That's why I couldn't see him. I thought he's like a lump. Can you see that? He's there. Ish. I can see. Y'all can't. There he is. Anyway, um, yeah. So, who knows? Maybe I'll have to quit my job. Uh, maybe I'll get fired. 
because I am getting, how would you call it, Perry? Sassy on talking up what's going on and pointing out the hypocrisy of a company that seems to be like functioning on the fact that I'm willing to work all the time and yet like denigrating me. I keep hearing, well, that's your choice. I'm like, okay, cool. That's my choice to keep everything running. How about I disappear and see if you can figure out how to keep things running is what's going through my head. I think it's time for another trip. Anyway, I'm going to get Perry inside. He's still hanging out. He's absolutely flicking. See him flicking his tail at me? He's like, dude, let's go. All right. We'll end this now. Bye.